We're just going for C now. We have lost objective Charlie. What? Okay, I could not throw through that. Hi guys, this is Matthias. And I'm coming at you here with another video about the recent yeah. update. And uh, now I'm going to talk about it from a little bit of a different perspective. Now this update was mostly focusing on balancing and adding this new map. But even though there were bug fixes and tweaks and things made in order for increasing the stability and performance, I think this is something that uh, I hope at least the DICE are going to put more priority into in the future. And don't get me wrong, it's great with new content and balance is important. And in all honesty, I think this update was actually pretty damn good. However, nice, nice, nice. Oh, they didn't fix the revive bug. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Now, me pointing out some of these bugs is not me complaining, and I know that uh, whatever Dice is working on is just a matter of priority. But I do want to point out some of these problems and see if this is something that bothers you guys as well. Now one very annoying bug that's been bothering me since beta is this, when you can't deploy the bipods of, in this case, the AT rocket gun. Now overall I feel like DICE has really listened to the community when it comes to what they changed in the recent patch, and hopefully this is going to continue. One of the things that was really really irritating and that was fixed was your ability to start sprinting after you have been in prone. Now this was probably not really a bug or maybe the way it functioned was kind of bugged but it was intended that you were not supposed to be able to sprint directly after prone. Now whether you were supposed to be this slow and whether this uh, denial of sprinting was going to last this long I seriously doubt it. I can't fucking move! Oh my god, this is so fucking irritating. So now from one thing to another, has anybody noticed any major differences when it comes to using this weapon, the Hellregal, after the patch? It did receive some extra recoil, both for the first shot to recoil mul multiplayer and the horizontal recoil itself. Oh, did they change the shotgun, by the way? We have taken objective. Like, yeah. <laughs> Reduce the range. Uh, I think they took the damage, uh, they added the pellet on one token. They didn't go the usual dice way of nerfing to the ground. Okay. Now there was a lot of changes made to weapons in this patch. Mostly I think it was to, um, well I think the most, the biggest change was made to the support class oh, yeah. and uh, slightly followed of uh, the scout class. My class, the uh, Assault class was not touched all that much, but the one thing that was nerfed a little bit was this weapon, the Model 10A Hunter, and rightfully so. Yes, shotguns should dominate in close quarter combat, alright. But at least the Model 10A Hunter had its damage at the range reduced quite a bit, and uh, that was needed. And what they did was that they moved up the damage drop-off, and this was not only for the Model 10A Hunter, it was also to the Factory and the M97 Trench Gun Hunter. A few other shotguns had changes made to them as well. So now, I'm not going to bring up all the weapons and what was made to them, because that would just take too much time, but a link to the patch notes will be found in the description. Now, what I do want to bring up, though, is the change that was made to uh, reviving. It's, it's quite interesting actually, because they added a cooldown between revives. That means that uh, if there is a group of people or a lot of people that have died in the same area, one medic cannot just run up there and revive like five or six guys in a matter of a few seconds. However, the cooldown to the syringe will be ignored if uh, the medic is next to an ammo crate. Now this is meant to encourage the teamwork between medics and support players. Now, how many players actually will make use of this? I don't know, but I'm sure there are areas where this is going to happen by accident, probably a little bit more in the game mode operations than in Conquest, but even so, in both game modes there are areas where there's a lot of people grouped up uh, to capture a point in, uh, well, a good example is uh, some of the bunkers on Monte Grappa, for example, and there are other areas on other maps as well. And DICE have also decided to make the large, uh, both ammo crates and medical crates more useful. They've added more healing and resupply power, and also made them a little bit more reliable to place down. Now, we always use the smaller pouches because they, they allow us to uh, resupply and uh, heal us while we're on the move and we don't have to stand still next to whatever crate in order to benefit from its function. Yeah. 
Like those guys in uh, Planet Side back in the day. Like I, I played Microsoft Flight Simulator for four years, so I should know. I know how to fly in ESF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Game mode here. So yeah, here is an example of a bug that we probably won't see any more of. How fucking irritating is that? Spawning in on a vehicle and not getting your vehicle. Starting with a with a death. Yeah, happened to me as well earlier today. Yeah. Those yeah, you're getting good as Mati, you see, you see. Yeah, holy Mati. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting nerfed from the start. <laughs> yeah. And minor bugs like that probably do get forgotten for quite a while, and I guess it's not the biggest of deals. Now, things that do have a big impact on your gameplay experience is of course bugs that is related to pure combat. I'm sure you've heard the word netcode being mentioned in the same sentence as the word battlefield. What? Why didn't those shots hit? Yeah, maybe that example was more about invisible walls than uh, netcode. I don't know. However, something that we did not see mentioned, as far as I know at least, was a team balance. Yeah. Yeah, there are 10 more people than us. And now one squad is going on the train, so we... Yeah, but th this is the thing. Why doesn't, why doesn't DICE just switch one squad over to, the, to our team now? Like in a situation like this. I mean, they have yeah, auto-balance, but... It... I think it's a land ship. And I didn't get repair. Oh, it's so delayed. Look at the delay. Look when re repair appears. We are losing objective now, if you're a tanker, you might want to take an extra look at some of the changes made to see if anything is going to affect your playstyle. Me, I have almost exclusively uh, been yeah, using this flanker the loadout for the light tank. And one of the things that was changed was uh, it was there was a 50% nerf to the damage of case shells against planes. So yeah, that first example was from before the nerf. Now you're going to see the difference when I use the same loadout after the update. So yeah, before the patch, that would have definitely been a kill. But I think that the damage that the case shells used to do was an actual bug. However, even now, after the update, they can still be used for the same purpose. You just have to either hit them twice as much, or hit an already damaged target. Uh, so it, it's still useful, but again, it's, it's, it's been nerfed. Now, generally speaking, the Battlefield games has had a history of uh, bad performance, instability, and in my case, a lot of uh, issues with the mouse and the mouse settings. And, uh, you know, mouse and keyboard in general just simply won't work as intended. And when it comes to the keyboard, changing your settings and hotkeys can cause a lot of problems. Uh, one of the problems that I still have is related to the key bindings for the gas mask and for third person view in vehicles. Now I have changed my key binding for putting on the gas mask to the key B and I've also changed the, the key binding for third person view, changing, changing from first to third person view in vehicles to the key T. Now what that does is that whenever I enter a armored car and I go into third person view in that car, when I jump out of that car then I have the gas mask on and this is something that it happens every time, it has been like that since beta, and it's probably a rather unusual uh, problem because I, I don't think there are all that many people that have my key bindings. Yeah. However, it is very possible that other players, you guys, have had similar experiences with other settings that you've done, and if that is so, then please share it with the rest of us in the comment section. Now, this video is already about 10 minutes long, and I haven't even talked about 5% of the balance changes that was made. However, 
lately almost all my videos has been about flying and I want to share with you a little bit of my original assault gameplay that has been a little bit neglected lately. So for the rest of the video here, there's going to be an additional about six minutes uh, assault gameplay and I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. I don't have much ammo left. Oh, they have entry. Entry come from B. Alright. He's somewhere behind the rocks there, watch out. We have lost objective Edward. Oh yeah, yeah, he's behind where the elevator is. Damn I'm uh, yeah, gonna uh. He's dead. Nice. Uh, let's go try to take uh, B. We are losing objective Edward. Is he again? Oh, E. Alright. Here's ammo, or can I pick it up? No, I can't. Why do I have to? Why did? Why did the marking go away again? Throw some medics. Oh. We have lost objective. Thank you. They're in this house where I am. Oh, there was. Guy in here, I can hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit him. He's 50. Oh, the shit, there's more. Oh, they're dead. Yeah. More ammo. No, more, more medic. <laughs> oh shit, I got almost killed by a sniper. Oh, I was killed. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dead on. Yeah. Oh, guy, uh, guys, where I am? Watch out, don't go out. Hello, we train. I'm coming in with the barbecue. Fuck, I have no ammo. Oh, fuck. Fuck. He's dead. That is crazy. Oh fuck fuck, die in the window, window. Dead. Oh fuck, he's burning me. Holy shit. I uh, can hear a tank again. Anyone has some meds? Where, no, where, where? I have ammo. I'm on, on C, on C. Oh, yeah, nice. Grenade. We have lost objective Freddy. They're coming for me. They don't. Gas. Oh, tank, tank. Yep. I gambled with my rocket. Drop ammo, you stupid lagger. Fuck, I can't get my kit back. Oh no! 
We have lost objective Edward. In the tank. Do I hear a sniper somewhere? I think I do. Oh man. We have taken objective Charlie. We have B, we need E, okay? I'm gonna take a ride. Come on, gallop! Oh shit. Don't forget to knock it. Hey, 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 hey. Walking tank got wrecked. Oh, water, 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 water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> I need water. I'm on fire. 8%. Spawning on me. I need, I need medic. 